First of all, shout out to Jason Snyder for getting me this shirt almost like a decade ago. And it's got uh, a lot of relevance still for me. Back then, I looked at it solely as a representation of the disproportionate incarceration of men of color. And as I've kind of grown, I've seen that it really, to me, signifies, even though it's stars and stripes, but we as just world citizens uh, are incarcerating ourselves by way of our own actions. Uh, now, I'll back up. This morning, uh, my daughter asked me if I thought that Donald Trump um, was destroying the, the country uh, with, you know, his own ideas and, you know, things like that. And while I did agree that, yes, I do think he's got a lot of bigoted and dog-whistling rhetoric, um, I did have to tell her that she... That, that he's not the only one. We're all complicit in this on one level or another. And by that, uh, I look at environmental issues, just the way we treat the planet. And we can blame large com you know, companies for things like fracking and oil spills and things like that. But when you are the person or you uh, see the person who's just dumping trash, throwing cigarette butts on the ground, yes, it's not in the large quantities as an oil spill in the ocean, but still, it's the treatment of our environment. Uh, we're complicit. We're all complicit in that. Um, when we talk about just the the small amounts and the shrinking amounts of empathy that we seem to have towards the next person's plight, um, when we're talking about people not receiving um, humane treatment or justice uh, once their civil and human rights have been violated, and this is not just about um, uh, people being murdered by the police who are largely that of uh, color, uh, we're talking about you know, women's uh, rights issues um, in regards to just equality. Um, when we're talking about rape, when we're talking about hate crimes versus a lot of groups, the uh, the crusade for, for gay rights and people who want to worship differently. There's so many different elements, the disabled, that as long as we may not be doing the ones, we may not be the ones doing it, but so long as we are also standing by idly, we are just as complicit. So, um, it was a deep question to get from a six-year-old, uh, but it had to be answered honestly and wholly that we are all responsible uh, on large, large levels. Um, he's one person, and there's many that I see speak the same sort of um, ignorance and act out in ways probably that he doesn't as far as uh, littering and you know things like that so there are things that we are responsible for and we can control that we don't need politicians entertainers and athletes to tell us to do better um, with that said for those who um, are of the mind I say vote if you want if you want these changes to happen and a lot a lot of people will say it's not for me it's not in my religion it's not in my beliefs or it just doesn't change anything that's up to you everybody's right but um, for those who do, I would say I've taken the, the mindset to say think voting young. And when I say vote young, I mean, one, how we are going to leave this, uh, this world for our children, grandchildren, and the unborn generations. And two, think back to a time, maybe not when you were naive, but when you were young enough to know that multiple demographics of friends was a good thing. And even though you may have gotten bullied by that one kid who was a particular demographic, you didn't hold it against everybody in that demographic. Um, we knew that treating people a particular way was the right thing to do, but we get to a certain age in, a, in adulthood and we just become like rigid and there's no wiggle room. And it's like stiffening arteries where there's no fresh blood pumping new ideas. And I think a lot of it has to do with we get to a certain point in adulthood and then we become set by our economic surroundings. And usually with economic surroundings, we'll have a lot of people who think a particular way and maybe we do too. And I just have to say, a lot of you are way richer than I am. I'm not even rich. So if we're friends, then hallelujah. But please keep in mind that there's a lot of people who don't have as much money and we still have a lot in common. We still have a lot of things that we would like to accomplish in this life and a lot of things that we could probably sit down and help educate those with more um, as far as superficial amounts. But I digress. Guys, we can do better, but we're all complicit. We all have to start and we can't stand idly by. Just saying that I don't do that, somebody else does, isn't good enough anymore because those who are doing against all of us 
are doing as a whole unit. There aren't people just standing by saying, yeah, go get them. Generally, they're doing it. So we have to stand up, stand together, and uh, be united in our fight. It's a fight. Peace, love, unity, solidarity.